Hey everyone, Laser Dave from TroTech Laser. This video will walk through the unboxing of the Speedy 100 laser cutting and engraving machine. Let's open it up and see what's inside. This video will showcase the unboxing of the Speedy 100 laser machine. Most systems are delivered via freight and can be offloaded using a lift gate to your home or office. As shown here, the Speedy 100 laser machine will be delivered by a freight company in a wood crate on a wooden pallet. When received, give the new system a walk around, looking for any significant shipping damage. The crate is expected to see minor scuffs from the freight process. The tools not provided for unboxing this laser machine are scissors, a utility knife, and a drill driver or screwdriver with a T20 or 3.86 millimeter Torx driver bit. To get started, remove any cardboard labeling from the pallet surface if present, then locate all the screws on the top lid. Use an electric drill driver with a T20 Torx bit and remove the lid of the crate by locating the screws at the top of each side, removing them with the drill driver until the crate lid can be lifted freely. Once all the screws are located and removed, Pull up to remove the top lid from the laser system crate. Inspect the inside for shipping damage, then remove any loose padding and packaging. Now locate the screws on the bottom side of each side of the wooden crate, holding the side walls in place. And again, using the electric drill driver with a T20 Torx bit, remove any screws on all sides. Make sure to check for screws that may be at the midpoint of the crate. Screws may be in different locations than shown in this video. Remove each of these screws on each side of the crate until all four of the sidewalls are free from the crate base. Once all the screws are removed, the sidewalls should be loose and easily removed. Remove each of the four crate sides by lifting them up and out and setting them aside. Next, use scissors or a utility knife to cut away the plastic around the laser machine. Please note that some systems may not have this Mylar bag around the machine. If not, skip this step of the unboxing. The plastic will be under the laser machine, held in place on blocks. Pull the side of the sealed plastic bag and cut around the machine, removing as much plastic as possible. Or, with help, the machine can be lifted on each side to remove all the plastic. Remove the box on the top. This is the honeycomb cutting tabletop included with the laser machine. Use a utility knife to open the cutting table box on each side. Pull on one of the sides to remove it from its box and then set it aside for use when the machine is operational. Remove the protective plastic on the laser top door by lifting and removing it. Then remove the red laser utility box from the laser machine. Open the red utility box from inside the machine. It includes some of the tools needed for upcoming steps. This red box includes the following. A set of metric hex tools, a USB connection cable, a speedy run on Ruby, quick reference guidebook, safety and maintenance instructions, the machine's power cord, a lens cleaning tissue, a USB flash drive with the included software, the keys to activate the laser, the laser lens, focus tool, a bottle of optical lens and mirror cleaner, and, lastly, the lens kit or kits. These may vary based on what is ordered. The next step will depend on the configuration of the laser machine that was ordered. The Speedy 100 laser machine can be operated on a table or desk. It can be ordered with an optional filter unit that the Speedy 100 will sit on top of, or it can be ordered with an optional trolley cart with wheels. For a table or desktop, place the table or the machine near the table. Then use two or more people to lift the machine from the crate base onto the table or desktop. If using an Atmos filter unit, place the Atmos filter unit near the laser. And again, using two or more people, carefully lift the laser machine onto the Atmos filter unit. And the machine is now ready for installation. For the final and most common configuration, the optional Speedy 100 trolley base will be shipped separately from this laser machine. Within the trolley box will be the left and right side legs, the center plate shelf, eight bolts and two washers, four caster wheels, 
two lockable and two non-lockable, and a 13 millimeter wrench. To assemble the trolley, the left and right legs must first be bolted to the center plate shelf. Select six bolts, the six millimeter hex tool from the red box. Place the left and right side legs upright with the bolt holes facing up. Then align the long center plate between the two legs, lining up the bolt holes from the plate to the legs. Hand tighten a bolt onto each side to hold the parts together, initially leaving the bolts slightly loose. Then add the remaining two bolts to the top until all four are placed loosely. Now rotate the trolley to access the other side of the center plate and place the two bolts into the back side, one on each of the two legs. Then use the six millimeter hex tool from the red box to tighten the six bolts down firmly till all bolts are tight. The next step is to add the four caster wheels to the trolley frame. Turn the trolley so that the four holes for the caster wheels are up with the front plate towards you. Locate the two lockable caster wheels and the provided 13 mm wrench. On the machine front nearest to the front plate, take one of the lockable casters and screw it into the machine leg, starting by hand, then using the wrench to tighten it in place. Repeat the process with the second lockable caster wheel on the other front side, starting by hand and then using the wrench to tighten the wheel. Locate the two non-lockable wheels and repeat the process onto the backside bolt holes on the legs until all four caster wheels are in place, with the two lockable wheels in the front near the front plate and the non-lockable wheels on the back of the trolley assembly. Once complete, turn the assembled trolley over onto the wheels. The next step is to combine the machine and the trolley together. The L and an R show on the trolley top indicate the left and right sides for orientation. Behind that are two holes in the trolley. These holes will be used to bolt the trolley onto the laser machine using the remaining hardware. Place the provided washers onto the remaining two bolts. Now locate a sheet of foam or some cardboard and place it on the right side of the laser machine along with any parts of the crate to protect the machine during the assembly process. Take a piece of tape and tape the top door to hold it closed for the next few steps. Two or more people will be needed to lift the machine from the crate base. Lift and slide the machine to the edge of the crate base, then lift and rotate it up to the right onto the foam or cardboard so that it is sitting on its right side. This will provide access to the underside of the machine. Remove the crate base out of the way. Move the assembled trolley into place with the L to the left and the R on the right side. With the second person, rotate the trolley up and align it to match the holes with the rubber feet into the holes. And then hand tighten the two bolts with washers into the provided bolt holes. Once the bolts are in and hand tightened, Use the 6mm hex key to tighten the bolts. Now again, with two or more people, lift the machine and rotate it onto the trolley base. Remove the tape, and the machine can now be wheeled into its location for system installation. For questions about this unboxing video and the Speedy 100 laser machine, we invite you to visit the Trotech customer portal at mytrotech.com for access to comprehensive support, including technical assistance, pre-installation guides, manuals, Ruby training courses, and more. Our dedicated team is here to ensure that you are well taken care of. To continue installing the Speedy 100 laser system, see the link below for the Speedy 100 installation and getting started videos.